Hi everyone and welcome back to the Big Buds. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Today we're going to be doing another fairground ride. It's the Creator Expert Carousel set 10257. Now we've recently built this on some live streams. If you want to catch those, I'll link those up now for you. We've got 2,670 pieces here. Um, so quite a big set. So let's get straight to it and have a look and see what's in the box. Okay, so there are 20 bags in this set. They're split into five sets of numbers. And there's also an extra bag with the base pieces, um, some stickers, which are all kind of mirrored stickers. And then all the, I want to call them sales, um, the bits that go on the top. Uh, there's only one book that comes with this. And like I said, we built this on a live stream recently. Um, and we were both building at the same time. So we managed to do uh, one and two at the same time so I built one and built two um, and then steps three four and five divide up quite easily because most of the steps you're building multiples of each step um, so you're building two at a time four at a time in some cases 12 at a time um, so we just halve them up and watch like, use the same instructions the only thing that's different is the animals so we built animals separately I took the tiger, frog and flamingo. He took the swan and the elephant and we matched up in time quite well. So it does seem to divide up quite nicely, even though it's not one of the ones that comes with two books for you to do as a family build, you can split the set really nicely. So let's get into it and um, watch the speed build. Again, if you don't like watching speed builds, you can skip ahead um, in the links below to the, the review, but let's get building.
here it is finished took about five hours with two people building and that was whilst obviously live streaming as well so a bit of chit chat in there it's a really lovely build i would say it's quite repetitive at points obviously but that's because it needs to be and it didn't bother me at all actually i'm actually quite happy with um building the same thing over and over again i find it more relaxing actually so um if you if it's not for you then maybe this isn't for you but it is worth it in the long run because look at what you get so you've got enough minifigures to fill the rides you've got a good variety in the rides as well in in the individual animals um they're all very different i think my favorite is the flamingo so i'll spin it around and give you a close look in a second um but yeah it built but really nicely bag one does the base bag do two does the the bottom level that spins so you can build that separately and then click it onto the top bag three does the inside part bags four does all of the animals and then and some of the top and then bag five sort of finishes off the detail around the top and that detail is really beautiful um it's got little books all the way around it lots of mirrored pieces the crowns are really nice um and it's really well thought out at one point i thought the colors were going to be really bad um because you had the nice bright yellow and then this really dark sort of navy color um and it just wasn't right but as soon as you add that bright blue in there um it just brightens the whole thing back up again whilst we were building um every time we needed to get to a different piece to build I would um, use this to spin it around. That was apparently hilarious to my husband. And I think the reason for that was how slow it goes when you turn it. And I don't think that's just that I'm really slow at turning it. It's very um, sort of jerky and it doesn't go very fast. I'm thinking if this was a ride at the fairground, it's not much of a ride, is it? Um, but as soon as you add that motor in, it perks right up um it really spins at quite a nice speed not so fast that the people who have naughtily gone on with food would fall off so that's good um but yeah fast enough that it feels like a ride i would say one that i would happily go on um this isn't too too much of a thrill for me so i think i could i can manage this it's not scary so i'll just shift the camera a little bit closer so you can get a better view of all of those animals Okay, first up you've got the elephant. That's by far the biggest of the animals. Um, and Ian's not overly taken with the fact that the elephant jumps. Um, so if you watch as it goes past, it sort of lifts up and down. He doesn't find that very realistic. Um, but it is a nice build. It's got the good, good ears, nice tusks, little tail at the back. Quite hard for someone to get onto that and actually... Um, Ian pointed out that's what the steps are for so if you see around here we've got steps up to the central part and then there's like little platforms to get onto the animals so I'm guessing that's how you get onto most of them because they are all quite tall some of them less tall when they crouch down so here you've got the frog and this one's a good one because it does spring quite nicely that one its little legs go um, the tiger, I think, looks... Well, he looked a l little grumpy while I was building him. But he's not so bad now. I think once he got his head added onto his body, he was pretty good. And that was one of the things that surprised us, is how long it actually took to build these animals. And we thought that would be a quick step. But it, there's so much detail in building them, a lot of pieces, um, that it took a while so they all go up and down apart from this swan here and actually that looks like it's the the couple's ride i realized there was space for two in there so i put the mum and dad on there to go around i'm not entirely happy with the curve of the neck um it's a bit too angular but it, it still works and my daughter tried to open the wings but i don't believe they do open so this is my favorite one the flamingo here um it's it's a bit of a sinister looking flamingo, but I like it. I think his legs quite impressive. Um, yeah. So of all of them, my favourite is definitely the flamingo, and that was 
the the least number of pieces so i didn't want to do the flamingo because when when we're dividing up the builds i always want to do the most um all the most interesting parts but the flamingo was um my favorite nice and colorful okay let's take a look at this going around um with a motor as opposed to my slow human power okay so we've actually got an xl motor on here this is a power functions motor it's meant to be a medium motor and so we've had to take the handle off and um, but i believe when you have the medium motor it's small enough that that can stay on so you have the choice of whether to do it by hand or not and um, you also take off one single tiny piece and then you can stick the battery box onto the top of that um side mechanism just to keep it out of the way it does make it quite high though not very easy to hide um but here it goes and it's super noisy so i won't talk while it goes just enjoy enjoy the the movement of it So you can see a much better speed than turning it by hand. Um, obviously way less jerky because it's a continuous motion as opposed to um, trying to do it by hand. Um, but I think it's it's fantastic. It really, really brightens up this, this ride. It makes it um, a much more fun fairground ride than it being static. You need to make this go. Um, you can't put this in your city without motorizing it, I feel. Um, it just it has to go and and all of the fairground rides have to have to be motorized it really really makes these um way more playable i think and whilst we're here i did um didn't mention the the ticket booth that comes with the set so far um so it's pretty simple it's got the sort of matching archway um that you've got on the the top of the carousel and the same sort of flag as well so it's clear that this is a ticket booth for these i still am not sure whether we'll be having individual ticket booths per ride um i always find it very frustrating when you go to a fairground and you have to pay per ride i figure if you pay to get in you get to go on them all although possibly in my case it would be more economical because i don't like most of the rides um, and i normally just go to watch other people go on the rides the crazy people um but um yeah simple build right let's have a look at the minifigures okay so now we've got the minifigure review i promise i haven't missed any this week so there's only seven this week but that's enough to get at least well, for every ride um because you've got the five animals but two seats on one so you can get six people on there plus the um this guy he's the ticket booth attendant so he's got that nice sort of candy stripe um top on with the sort of bow which i believe is in quite a lot of these sets um it wasn't in the roller coaster because they had their lego logo tops on but i think it was in the ferris wheel um i can't remember and <laughs> they all blur into one after a while he's definitely this one i think in the fairground people pack but yeah he seems seems pretty good he's got a nice moustache nice receding hairline Candy stripe at the back as well. I'm not sure if he's got an alternative face. Nope. But he looks like he's maybe worked at the fairground all his life and really enjoys his job. So that's always a good thing. Right, on to the next one. Okay, so I'd say this one's the mum. I quite like her because she's got the the purple torso um i've got that in some other sets as well so not a unique print or anything her hair is quite nice and actually i think i probably might have chosen this as my hair um if i'd had it at the time i don't know i, I tend to wear my hair at the front of a lot more i don't tend to push it behind me um so it's not quite right but it's it's the closer color than the one that i've got for my sig fig um but once you get your sig fig, you've got to stick with it, I feel. Right, let's check if she's got an alternative face. Probably should have done that when I turned around. Oh, yeah, she's done. She's got a nice um, sleeping face. Yeah, maybe when she sat on the swan. Um, it's quite relaxing. So it's 
nice to take a break sometimes, especially if you're a mum. Next up is the dad. Um, nothing real special about his um, torso print. It's just a sort of a plaid shirt and he's got a ticket in hand. Um, standard dad haircut, I guess. Oh, he's got the um, possibly vomity face on, possibly stuffing face. Right. But this um, fairground ride doesn't come with any sort of eating parts. Um, so obviously with the roller coaster, you've got the the f um, the smoothie bar and the candy floss, and you've got ice cream with the the Ferris wheel. This one just has that ticket booth, so it's all pretty much. Um, just the ride for this one um but maybe yeah he's just not good at the spinning motion so that's why he's making a face okay i think this one is my favorite minifigure in this set because she's got um a really cool t-shirt on um i'm a massive fan of purple as you know but i also really like stars i had purple and stars as a sort of the theme at our wedding um it looked really good so the top goes quite well with that and she's also got purple um, legs. It's the short children's legs. And that makes it very hard for them to be safe on the rides, I feel. Because they have to stand up. Um, and I don't think I would approve as a parent of standing on some of these rides. But um, they're Lego, so it's fine. She's got a nice trans yellow or trans green. I'm never sure with those. Um, ice lolly there. And I like this hair um, with the... A sort of plait at the back. No alternative face. But then her her face is pretty sweet. All right, we've got another little girl here. She's holding a gigantic hot dog. Um, again, not purchased from this set because we don't have any hot hot dog stands in this set. Um, but it comes with a hot dog. So, so her torso print is the same that we use for Leah's sig fig. Um, I just check for. Extra face, nope, no extra face. So it's just that cute little child face there. And again, the short legs. Okay, last up of the children's generation, we've got this one with the ice cream. Again, no ice cream seller in the set, so must have got that from the Ferris wheel. Um, a good cap there, although I'm not so keen on the colour. Um, and again, the colour combo for the top and trousers. Not a fan. Um, again, no alternative head. So there's not many alternative heads here, just the mum and dad so far. Okay, and lastly, we've got the um, older generation here. So the grandmother has come along for the day as well. She seems to be holding the camera. Well, she was definitely on the um, the ride a second ago. So um, she's enjoying herself too. Um, I like this hairpiece. This is one of the ones that we've got in the Winter Village for Mrs. Claus. And there's an alternative face. And I think this is the same alternative face we've had on all the grandmas, um, where you can't actually tell the difference, really. One's got slightly more raised eyebrows. So I, I just don't understand the point there, but I've made that point already. Um, I do like her shirt. I think there's some nice detailing there. Okay, let's think about where this set is going to go when we add it into our city. It's obvious that it's going to go into our fairground. Um, so I've lined this shot up so you can see um, the top of, well, one of the parts of the roller coaster here. So that is not the highest point of the roller coaster. That's the, the lower dip. And as you can see, that's taller than the, the carousel. So this isn't one of the biggest rides. Um, it's quite wide, though. It's a very square build. Um, so it does take up quite a lot and and our biggest issue is this motor sticking out on the side um i really would like that to have been the other direction um so it was just alongside the ride maybe because that is going to take up quite a bit of real estate um you certainly can't push it against a wall on that side and you can't push the base plate up against the wall either because the tops stick out further than the base plate um, but obviously you're going to need a path around it. You can't put a ride right up next to a ride. So that's not too big an issue. Um, but I think we'll 
need to be putting this sort of nearer the front of the the fairground because it hasn't got that height um we're talking about having a multi-level fairground so it's possible that the, i'll raise this up um onto one of the second levels in the fairground so that you can see it better but we've still got a lot of planning to do for the fairground and that's why we're trying to get through all these sets to to work out how big things are to get them in um but yeah if we're going to modify it then this will be the modification trying to uh, re-angle that motor to get it easier i don't think i'd change anything else about the ride the colors are fine and um, this works quite nicely with the the blue of the ferris wheel but not so much that um it all looks like it's the same color you've got enough bright animals on there that it breaks up that color as well so it's it's perfect as it is it just needs a little alteration for that motor so let me know what you think of the carousel in the comments below um have you got this on have you motorized it have you worked out a better way to to do the the motorizing so that it doesn't have that that big sticky outy motor um we also have some motors that ian um has been playing with uh to to look at which i think he's going to do a blog post on this weekend so i'll link that up once he's he's um published that um sort of alternative motors that aren't lego um, but may have a smaller footprint so might fit better in the city if you like fairground rides obviously we're coming to the end of our fairground rides so we've got a lot of videos on them um, for you to watch and also stay tuned for where we actually get it all into the the fairground on its own um, and build up some pathways and things and see how that turns out um, so that will hopefully be coming and um, we're just waiting on maybe a decision about extra tables because we've placed the fairground onto our um narrower table narrower tables and because of the depth of all the rides i think we're going to need to swap them around and put them on our our slightly um wider tables to to give more room for sort of the food outlets and the pathways um so it, there's definitely a lot of rejigging going on in the fairground but we'll get that out as soon as we can um also, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss an update. And we'll see you later.